It's been five years since we last heard from pop sensation Pink. I like Pink. Uh, she is back with her seventh album, which contains some fantastic new hits. Along with that, she's also bringing her one-of-a-kind, beautiful trauma world tour uh, to our shores. So that's a year's time. I think that's next September. Our music reviewer, the Edge 30 host, Steph Monks, is back from an international sojourn, which was about four weeks, and she had a brilliant time. How was it? It was horrific. It was <laughs> it was hot, and I did so many fun activities. Yeah, I had the worst time ever. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> and welcome back. I'm sure you're pleased to see us. Yeah. Um, Pink? Pink, yeah, she's back. Five years. So Beautiful Trauma came out Friday, seventh album, um, and she has said that this is her best vocal performance on any album ever, uh, which you can definitely hear in this particular song, which is my favourite from the album. It's called You Get My Love. Don't let my mistakes take that away from my eyes. You get my love, baby. You get my love. I like it. Yeah. I really like it. This album is typical pink, really. There's a lot of attitude. There's a couple of swear words here and there, and it's very, very honest. So she talks a couple of songs um, that are quite political, which is, again, very she pink. She does that, doesn't she? She does. Um, also about growing up too fast and, of course, about her relationship with her husband as well. Mm. I, so, yeah. I read a great, uh, heard a great interview where she said she got boozed and wrote a lengthy email to Eminem saying, can we work together? And he replied immediately saying... Okay. Yeah. Is the song any good? I think so. Maybe it could take a couple of listens, but the reason she wrote that particular song you're talking about, Revenge, um, is because she wants to win a rap Grammy. <laughs> uh, she's won all these Grammys, but she's never won a rap one. So she thought, hey, let's get um, one of the best rappers in the world to join in with my song and maybe win a Grammy. Not sure if it's going to happen, I'll but it's a there. good song. Um, be careful with booze and emails. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Or in the, her case, it turned out quite well. It, d- it d- doesn't always. No. Um, <laughs> Paul McCartney. Okay, so I have the greatest story to tell you. Um, so I was in New York a couple of weeks ago seeing Paul McCartney live. So before our trip, we bought tickets, and they were terrible tickets. And we knew they were going to be terrible tickets, but we thought, let's just get them. It's Paul McCartney. So we arrived at the venue. We were absolute nosebleed seats. Like, very, very top, very, very back. We could touch the wall at the back. Mm -hmm. And so we're sitting there, we're like, it's okay, we're going to see Paul, it's going to be fine. doesn't matter. We had an obstructed view as well because the corporate (laughs) box was above us. So you could see half the stage. We're like, it's okay, we're going to see Paul. Uh, But then a guy crouches down next to us and he's like, do you want better seats? Oh. And I was like, here we go. Some guy is trying to sell us these tickets for a million dollars. Like, just ignore him. Uh, my boyfriend turns around to him and says, yeah, we want better seats. Nothing to lose. He gives my boyfriend Jake these two tickets. And I look over at him a bit closer and he's wearing a backstage pass. So I'm like, okay, this guy's legit. And so I look down at the tickets and it says AA1 and AA2. No. And no. then the guy shakes our hands and says, have a good night and vanishes. And we're like, what? What's going on? We find our new seats, which is at the front row of Paul McCartney. Could you almost touch him? We could see the veins in his fingers as he's strumming. We could see him blinking. We could see we could we were so close to him. It was like uh, we won the Paul McCartney lottery that night, and it yes. was the greatest. So we saw this song live, very close up. I'm back in the USSR. He's, he, he's still all he, that, isn't he? he? He's still got it. So if you have not bought your tickets to see him on his tour when he comes next year, he's going to be here um, on the... No, this year, December the 16th. Yes. So very, very soon um, in Auckland. Get them. He's still got it. He, he's, How long, though, does he perform for? Was, How long is on stage? It was amazing. It was about three hours long. Oh. Um, and he invited Billy Joel, who was sitting behind us, up for the encore. It was r- the most ridiculous <laughs> night of all time. Uh, A1 and A2 tickets. Brilliant. You're welcome. We organised that. <laughs> Thanks, um, Very quickly, Tom. Five. Um, and I don't really mean to brag, by the way. I just, oh, no, that a that is a, that's an allowable brag. Uh, number five is Sam Smith, Too Good at Goodbyes. Number four, Dua Lipa with New Rules. Khaled, Young, Dumb and Broke, number three. Camila Cabello with Young Thug. Havana, number two. And Post Malone featuring 21 Savage. Rockstar is your number one across the country. Uh, Brilliant. You were number one too because you, you're brilliant. Nice to have you back. So good to have you Thank back. You.